How's it going, everyone? Welcome back to some more Melee Master Mode. I'm just finishing up an Eater of Worlds fight. Um, for those who are new, we have already done this boss fight. I uh, I just need some more Demonite Ore, because I <laughs> I wouldn't have if I had uh, remembered I got the sh Ancient Shadow Helm, uh, but I didn't, so <laughs> I got the Helmet first, and uh, yeah, so basically I just wasted a bunch of time. But yeah, I'm going to quickly get this loot, and then we'll uh, get on with the episode, and I'll tell you guys what the plan is today. Okay, now before I forget, uh, <laughs> I have seen the comments. Um, yeah, I could have combined these two accessories. So for like the 50 comments I saw <laughs> of you guys telling me, uh, I, f I forgot. I forgot. I hate to say it, but uh, I did not remember I uh, could do this. wasn't thinking about it. But there you go. Now let's make this shadow armor because I've been told that it's been changed a little bit. Instead of, I believe it was melee speed before, now it's just a flat crit rate um, boost for, you know, all classes. Um, but I almost got the wrong thing again. <laughs> Ignore that. Uh, increased movement speed and acceleration. So, yeah, if you look at this, I believe this is the same as the Magiluminescence buff. Might be about, might be even a little better. But this is really nice. So this is the difference, right? But here, the change is pretty quick. And I've actually heard it stacks with the Magiluminescence. There we are. Let's test without. So this is without it. And then with... Oh yeah, that's crazy. What insane maneuverability. Nice, okay. I don't know if it's worth not having knockback immunity though. Uh, what's the defense like? We do get a bit more defense too. Ah, it's super, it's super good though. We'll run it, we'll run it for a while. If I ever feel like uh, it's a better idea to have this guy active, um, we'll just switch to it. So I'll put that on over there. I think at this point, I'm just gonna go fight Deerclops because I don't think there's really much of a upgrades I can get. Uh, before we tackle some of these other bosses. Uh, there is if I go down and get some Hellstone, but I want to delay that a little bit. So, yeah, I'm going to go uh, grind some materials for Deerclops, and then we'll get that underway. Okay, we are about to give this a go. I've made a real long platform, um, and yeah, I think that'll be good. I'm also using a Warmth Potion. This is one of the very few times where uh, it's actually useful, so I figured, hey, let's add it in. <laughs> Might as well. Uh, so let's give this a go. I have no idea if this guy uh, is immune to poison, but we will quickly find out. Um, now, the funny thing about this bot... <laughs> oh, it's not. Okay, that'll make this a lot easier. Yeah, funny thing about Deerclops is... Um, oh, yeah, I'm, I'm slowed. Right, that's going to be super annoying. The funny thing about Deerclops is that... Oh, uh, Oh wait. How, is, <laughs> how are you going to get back up here? <laughs> oh, they might have updated it. Maybe, maybe it's programmed to, to not go on the platform. Okay. Should I not have made it out of... Should I made it, should it, maybe I should have made it out of blocks. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> My platform. Okay, I have an idea. Okay, this is admittedly not going very well. <laughs> I, uh, this slow debuff really throws me off. And, uh, I'm not sure what the play is against it, to be honest. Because this is what I'd like to do. But, um... Sometimes it's going to be a little tricky with the slow debuff. As soon as you get hit there, it's uh, pretty bad. But now we got it. Yeah, so especially with this extra speed boost. It's actually really helpful for this boss fight. Um, so yeah, like I was saying, the funny thing about this boss is... Uh, <laughs> unless they've changed it, but if you die, um, it won't despawn. So... Oh, I'm all, speaking of, I almost died there. Yeah, so you can't really lose to it, you know? Like, or you'll always do it first try. Oh, and then on platforms, it actually, yeah. I don't even have to worry about that attack. So yeah, this is a more cheesy... Oh, well, there. <laughs> I don't know. Let me... I don't usually fight it just on the platform like this. Let me know. Is... Does Deer Clops usually do that? Just jump through the platform randomly? Or is that a new thing? Let me know if you guys have seen that, because <laughs> that's a first for me. Um... But again, I usually just fight it on the ground and then maybe have a platform above. But, um... Yeah, okay. Well, I'll have to chill here for a bit. Oh, I didn't buff! I was talking... <laughs> oh, boy. Okay, yeah, no, that would make sense why we were... I thought we were taking more damage than usual. <laughs> that would explain things. Yeah, for sure. I went through all that trouble to get the warmth potion and then just didn't use it. <laughs> That's typical. 
I wonder if this is just better damage, actually. Like, just from from this range. Oh, maybe not quite that range, but... Like, from here? Just... Oh, well, there, <laughs> there it goes. <laughs> it's right at that spot every time, like, the middle of the arena. Something about it, Dear Clops doesn't like. Um... <laughs> So I gotta lure it back every time. But yeah, Thorn Chakram looks really good here. It kind of got overshadowed last uh, episode, but its base damage is kind of crazy. And uh, if you get close, right up close to your enemy, you get lots of those hits. You're still dealing, still dealing that poison, which is, again, super good. So uh, yeah, this is pretty good here. Um, it's a little... I guess I can check the DPS meter. I haven't really been looking. So this is like 100-ish. Yeah, this is quite a bit better, actually. Thorn Chakram, from this range. <laughs> I keep forgetting. <laughs> I'll just fight it down here. Yeah, this is quite a bit better from this range. Like, damage-wise. Very, very strong. Still dealing that poison. If you get in the right range where you're close enough, it's great. And there is the achievement, an eye for an eye. A while back, I did that all achievements run. Deerclops was the uh, only boss not to have an achievement for that. But uh, we got one. Now, um, I don't think I really care too much for the drops. I'm not going to bother going for Chester. We'll probably get a money trough at some point. And uh, knowing my luck, I don't know. I feel like we'll, uh, <laughs> we'll be there for a while. So I'm uh, not too bothered there by not getting it. I think we're just going to go straight for the volcano here. Yeah, I, I feel like we need a new upgrade today. And uh, the volcano seems like a great choice. And I believe we have made it. Now, I think we have enough... Yeah, obsidian from what we got down here. Uh, oh, this is new. What? Hello? What? <laughs> what? <laughs> Wait. <laughs> where's, the, where's the land at? And why was obsidian not spawning while I was down there? <laughs> what? Okay, I'm very much uh, so confused by what just happened. Uh, let's check that out again. We're back with the water walking this time. Uh, I guess this is a drunk world seed thing. <laughs> There's some hellstone. <laughs> Weird. I I I I'm I don't know what to do now. Is there gonna be more hellstone below? Oh, finally. Okay. Here we go. This looks a little, uh, more manageable. Okay, so we finally found, like, a biome of sorts. Um, but yeah, that was just a big old lava lake right there. Which is cool, I guess. Oh, I didn't even realize I was standing on that. Yeah. Oh, we can't bomb that. We cannot bomb that. I forgot. Um, not yet, anyways. Oh, you know what? This is actually really nice. <laughs> I just realized... Because it's so flat like this, it's just lava, up until this point anyways, um, I won't actually have to make a wall of flesh arena thing. So that's going to be super nice, actually. I'm, you know, I kind of I kind of wish they were all like this. <laughs> that saved me a lot of time. That's always one of the parts of the playthrough that is, uh, it takes a little bit, and especially for some challenges, it's super, uh, super annoying because it might take super long to kill Wall of Flesh, uh, think of the tools only playthrough where it takes like the whole world. Um, yeah, it's, it can be rough building a whole full world uh, platform. Now, some people just, you, you know, use water walking even in the base worlds, which can work. But I find that uh, you still have to go through the effort of like mining through houses, if not mid fight, then beforehand. So it's usually just for me anyways, I find it's worth just to. Get it over with. Just uh, build a platform. It'll save you some trouble. It'll probably be a little easier too. But uh, this time around, just stock up on some water walking and I think we'll be fine. So I'm looking forward to the Wall of Flesh fight. Oh, we don't have a Health Forge yet. We gotta get that before I get too ahead of myself. Yeah, so let's go look for Health Forge. But yeah, it's a cool it's a cool biome. I have seen this biome before in one of my other playthroughs. This isn't like a seed exclusive thing. It seems like uh, Hell has this new kind of biome area. That big lake of lava though. As far as I know, that that's specific to the seed. Because um, it was not like that in, uh, again, the playthrough I'm doing on the side. Which, you know what? Uh, maybe I'll take this time to shut out the Twitch. <laughs> A lot of people have been saying I should do that more. 
And I do get lots of people popping in saying, uh, oh, didn't know you streamed. Well, here's your, you know, annual reminder. <laughs> I stream on Twitch. I do lots of uh, Terraria challenges, stuff like that. Uh, all those big challenge videos you see me do on YouTube here, they are all streamed on Twitch. So uh, I'll leave the link in the description. You guys can feel free to check that out. There's actually a pretty good chance that I'm live right now because if you're watching this the day it was uploaded, because I stream like every other day, Monday, Wednesday, Friday, Saturday. But yeah, no more self promo, don't worry. <laughs> we found ourselves our Hellforge. If we get a shadow key, that would be kind of handy. I guess there's nothing too crazy. Dark Lance, never mind. We do get the Dark Lance, so we'll be coming back here for the shadow chests at some point. But for now, we can go ahead and place this guy down. I don't know if this is enough for the volcano, which is what it is now called. It is not. <laughs> Damn it. Alrighty, I had to get a little bit more obsidian because it turned out we didn't quite have enough, <laughs> as sad as that is. Uh, which actually, I think it got quick stacked. There it is. Alrighty. So, I'm hoping we have enough hellstone. Should be 20? Yeah, look at that. Volcano. 42 melee damage is pretty nice. Annoying isn't what you want to see, though. <laughs> Let's do reforge. I will, at some point, move... Uh, I don't hate this, but I kind of just want more damage. Uh, so, well, that's just more damage. Cool. This is just a fiery greatsword for those who uh, haven't been keeping up with the update. That's what I wanted to ask you guys, though. What do you guys think about the name change? Because me, personally, I don't mind either way. I do find it odd... That it got a new name, because as far as I know, that's never really happened in the game. So it does seem like an odd thing. Uh, well, to keep godly, that looks really good, actually. Yeah, it just seems like an odd thing to <laughs> do, because it it's never been done before. And just on the one weapon, so interesting. I don't know what was necessarily wrong with Fiery Greatsword. I think both names are fine, though. But uh, let me know what you guys think. I'm trying to look for an enemy to test this out on, but I uh, am failing miserably. Here we go. Oh, it's so satisfying. <laughs> now, I've already tried this out, but oh man, just look at it. Things go flying. <laughs> That's so awesome. Now, I believe it uh, gives the on fire debuff um, and the explosion. It's just so cool. So, I think the idea of the explosion is you just hit for an extra tick, I think, and it's probably like m maybe it hits multiple enemies. Uh, but yeah, you see 107 and 35 there. 107 was a crit. But, um, yeah, so it kind of, like, hits twice every time, and it, probably great crowd control is, uh, what I'm guessing. But, yeah, I'm super excited to try this guy out. Um, at this point, I think, uh, all that's left to do is take out one more boss. So we're gonna head over to the jungle and try and defeat Queen Bee. So I'll see you guys over there. This has got to be one of my favorite weapons to use. <laughs> It's just so satisfying. Like, I know out of the changes, the Blade of Grass is probably the craziest. But this thing just chunks health bars. And that sound effect is like half of the... <laughs> it's half of the fun. That sound effect is just wild. <laughs> it's so fun to use. So I think because of that, this has been my, my favorite so far. Again, I said the same thing about the Blade of Grass. Obviously, still really love it. And uh, for some things, it's probably stronger too. But man, is this fun to use. Like, <laughs> it's so good. Okay, I still haven't found the beehive, but it is a blood moon. Or there's one going on right now. And uh, I would really like to see us get the money trough. I think it'd be nice to have. So I will uh, try and get it here. But since we're up here, I did just find an anklet. So we're going to try and get the lightning boots. There we are. Nice. Oh, this is kind of a fun thing. If you, like, get the last hit and then switch directions, you kind of get a quick a quick double hit. <laughs> uh, that's kind of neat. It's, it's such a slow swing. You can kind of time that uh, easily. I say as I mess it up. <laughs> I don't know, it's just so fun to use. I'm definitely considering swapping something out. Maybe even the shield. I know it's a little bit of a weird idea, but I think the extra melee speed on this thing would go a long way. So, yeah. And because of our crazy maneuverability, I don't think the shield's as important for, like, everyday use, you know? For certain boss fights, yes, it's super good to have. 
But in terms of just fighting random enemies, I don't usually just dash into enemies, even though it is pretty good. Um, I think I'd rather just have the melee speed, especially if we're focusing on Volcano here. Like, I can see myself just specking straight into melee speed, and then using Volcano, and then just doing, like, an absurd amount of damage. Because, like, per hit, this thing does quite a lot. The drawback is the fire rate, or the <laughs> swing speed. But if we just crank that up, I could see this thing, like, doing wonders in boss fights. But I'm curious to see how much quicker it kills... Oh, wow, yeah. Oh! Okay, well, there's there's the money trough. Again, the luck's been pretty crazy. Um, yeah, this thing just... This thing does kill quite a lot quicker than Blade of Grass, by comparison. Um, yeah, it, it's kind of absurd, actually. Especially with that <laughs> melee speed buff. It goes kind of crazy. All right, we uh, are just about ready to do this boss fight. Now... The one problem that I'm having at the moment is uh, the lack of honey and a bezoar. Uh, one of those would be all we really need. I don't know if I want to try without <laughs> both, because or without either of them, because I think that's just a recipe for disaster. Because uh, we'll get chipped away by poison and things can get a little dicey. Now, normally I just build my arena just right beside the hive, but this time around whoa whoa this is huge wait i should have i could have just done it in here what <laughs> damn it i was not expecting this <laughs> oh that's kind of uh, that is kind of uh tragic wow okay all right so uh the arena is a little bigger than usual i had to make an extension to get some honey but we've done it the arena is built and we'll see how it goes. So a little tragic that I didn't actually go into the hive um, before making the arena, but I didn't expect anything to be new here. But uh, yeah, I think we're just going to go ahead and start this. Uh, where's the boss? What happened? Am I really going to have to make the summon? <laughs> what happened? Hold on, there must be like another one. because Maybe because of how big this is. You need to like break two, okay? Um, so I don't know if what happened was intentional or not, or if the game just bugs. But sadly, uh, <laughs> you know what I do know is that we are going to have to summon or make the, the summon. So we got to go back here, get some bottles, and then uh, return, which is what I was wanting to avoid because it takes a minute to get over there, but. Uh, we gotta do it. So, I'll see you guys in a bit. Alright, as we regen to full here, uh, I did go ahead and get the summon. We got the summon now. Uh, I've got some ale, which is uh, pretty good, uh, well, for melee, because it gives you some cool buffs. I think to damage, definitely melee speed, maybe even crit. Um, so, it's very, very helpful. You do lose, I believe, four defense, but I think it's worth it. And then I'm debating on whether I want to use this these feral claws because I'm I'm thinking of this maybe getting rid of the balloon and just relying on the lightning boots for the ver you know verticality and then yeah I think we'd be we're okay horizontally and we've got very good speed still uh, but I do want the shield for bouncing off of Queen Bee during the the uh, charge phases because I think that's gonna offer a lot of damage in the long run so I don't want to compromise there so I think this is best. Um, you know, you could argue maybe switching that on, but I think it's fine the way we have it. So, we are going to buff up and use the summon. Let's see how this goes. Uh, yeah, so, yeah, this melee speed is going to be super nice. Um, yeah, look how much damage we've already done, actually. Ooh. And the on fire, too. I forgot about that. Yeah, the on fire is going to be really nice against the, uh, against Queen Bee. You'll see here that it's uh, definitely not as good as poison, though. Um, <laughs> but we can't apply poison, sadly. Uh, but that's an interesting idea against normal enemies. I'm thinking, like, Blade of Grass on top of Volcano. Mind you, most things get, like, one to two tapped by <laughs> this thing. But, uh, you know what? It's it's not too bad. It's, it's an idea. Maybe get some, like, mini-boss type enemies. Could be good to stack the buffs. But look at this, dude. <laughs> so good. We're taking a lot of damage, though. 
But yeah, this it's chunking its health. I haven't really been paying attention to the health bar, but um, yeah, look at that. <laughs> That's so good. Uh, yeah, I'll just bounce into it like that. Uh, I'm a little off with the shield timings, but that's okay. <laughs> it's just destroying this thing. It's so satisfying to use. And it's it's quite strong, so like it makes sense to get now. This is another one of those weapons. Uh-oh, might die here. <laughs> uh, there we go. Okay, that was actually kind of close. <laughs> that's Yeah, that should not have been that close. Anyways, as I was saying, it's one of those weapons where like, at least for me, I didn't use it before. And then now with this new buff, it's quite strong. And especially when you start stacking some like melee speed stuff, it 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 hits hard. It hits hard, and then get more of those hits in, and it it's just crazy. Now I do believe there's actually an item we can get, a new weapon, now that we've defeated Queen Bee. But I'm going to save that for the next episode because I think we've done more than enough today. Thank you guys so much for watching. Subscribe for more episodes, and I'll see you all next time. Peace.